another night at Walmart. But the temperature's gorgeous right now. Yeah, I'm gonna try Sam's Club, I think tomorrow night. Look at the weather here today in Grand Junction. It is 76 degrees out. The wind is chilly. It's been windy all day. And look at that over there. It's coming off the mountain. I am at the park today. I didn't eat breakfast. I just had like a oatmeal bar. But I went to Natural Grocers and saw the new Beyond Burger with avocado oil. Now I can never remember. Do I like Impossible Meat better or Beyond? I don't eat it enough to always remember. But uh, these were on sale for like five dollars. You get two burgers. I'm gonna put one away for tomorrow. I have avocado, too much ketchup and too much mustard. I had a half a bagel left. And I love this, the Kavita Herbal Spritzer. Kombucha, um, chamomile and lavender. I just love this one, it's so good over ice. Mm. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing, me and Owen here. I'll show you Owen, hold on. Hey buddy. I got a new piece of fake fur for my bench. Don't mind the rest of the stuff, we're in travel mode. Travel mode, but Owen got a new elephant from the store today. He's um, yesterday last night he started acting very quiet, just his body movements and stuff. It was just I knew he wasn't him. I think he's realizing that Violet or Elliot and Violet are not here. He's probably wondering where they are. I mean, dogs grief too, right? Where's Elliot? Violet? Oh, he just looked for them. Where are they? They're in heaven, buddy. Yeah. Aww. Well, the wind hasn't died down. It's uh, about 7.30 tonight. I'm at Cabela's. It's starting to rain. It really was rocking and rolling earlier. There's a train going by. So I found out that Sam's Club here in Grand Junction, Colorado is not RV friendly. You cannot spend the night. You can park there for an hour or so. Yeah, that's good to know. But I'm going to stay here. Look at this little thing that just rolled in. Is that not adorable? Looks like they're from New York. I'll have to go check that out in the morning if they're still here. I just had a lady um, comment on my YouTube channel. She didn't want to knock. She's in the parking lot. She says, I just wanted to say hello from Cabela's. I saw your name on the back of your truck on her way to McDonald's. So she's camping out here in one of these Class Cs. I thought that was so sweet. I said, you could have knocked. It would have been a good knock, not the dreaded knock that I haven't gotten in nine years. Thank goodness. You see that mountain up there? We got snow up in the high country last night. It was 36 when I woke up. Feels like 32. And that dark cloud over there. Uh, yeah. It's still snowing up there somewhere. You can't see the mesa right now. I saw it when I pulled out of the mall. That's where I'm supposed to be going and it's covered in like a snow cloud. Right now it's 45. I'm heading to go get, well, I'm going to get gas, and then uh, go get new tires on my trailer. Yeah, that big gray cloud over there is where I'm supposed to be going to work this summer. And there's still 44 inches of snow and apparently more from last night. I'm never going to get to work. Well, that was a quick $300 I just dropped. I needed them. I haven't had new tires since I bought this thing. My passenger side one was getting pretty bald. I did finally buy a spare, if you watch my videos. I bought that when I left Texas two months ago or a month ago. And the tires went from $75, $95, and then $180. That was, that was my option. I the $95. Owen and I are downtown Grand Junction. We are going to my herbalist down here to get some tea. It's warming up. It's 55 now. Grand Junction has a really pretty downtown area. Really nice places to eat. 
and a lot of entertainment. Look at how tiny I am next to the tractor trailer in that motor home. So this is what I bought from my herbalist. It's a tea shop in Grand Junction, Colorado, on Main Street. It's called um, Willow Creek. Uh, she has spices, herbs, all kinds of stuff. Um, I got my favorite fireside chai. I love this. I never tried their peppermint. Got that and chamomile. Look at all those little chamomile flowers. And then I went to a mineral, what is it, a mineral shop? I forget what it was called. I got some rainforest um, incense sticks. And this is a patchouli sage smudger. Yeah, this smells really pretty. Yeah, that's what I picked up downtown today. I already have one going here. Hey guys, so I guess today's video was just just what I did today. Um, I'm still adjusting to a family of three. I was a family of five. Um, it's strange that the dogs aren't here. And um, yeah, I'm just so used to them. I mean... 15, almost 17 years with me. I got in the truck today and I immediately looked to my side to see my little co-pilot, Violet, and she wasn't there. And when I came in the other day, Friday after we dropped them off at the crematorium, I immediately looked at the bed like I always did to check on them. And But I'm doing okay. I mean, it was a long time coming. And so I, had, I was prepared. I'm glad that they went together and they'll be cremated together. But if uh, little Owen here hears me talk about them, um, he starts looking for them. He just before looked in the pillows when he heard me say their names. Uh, Gideon, he's, well, he's a cat. He's doing fine. I did go to the laundromat today, and it was weird. I know I had just done laundry on Saturday. I finished up, well, I most, did most of Friday and finished up some Saturday before I left my daughter's. So I just had a small load. I had no... No clothes to wash of theirs. I had no blankets to do. I had no rugs to do. I had a small load and I put everything in the medium sized load and I took it all out and went into the, the top load washer. Yeah, it was, it was, that was weird. That was weird. So I have a lot of changes in my life. Um, but I'm, all, I'm all right. But anyway, uh, what was I going to say? God, hold on. I'm having a cup of my peppermint tea, and I mix some chamomile in with it. I use these tea straws from Amazon. And you just put the tea leaves in the cup. I like them. Um, where am I? Right now, I am I'm at what I call the dirty truck stop. Um, it's off I-70, outside of Palisade. Um, it's a big one. It's the one where that one truck pulled right next to me and almost blocked me in. Yeah. Uh, oh, I ran into, while I was at the tea shop, um, a woman there. She goes, hey, Jersey. I'm like, yeah. And I recognized her, but I couldn't remember from where. She had camped up on the Mesa last year. Um, she was at Ward Lake when I was working Ward Lake. And uh, she went to Quartzsite this, uh, this winter. And she's... Uh, She's up there, up in Cedar Edge right now. And I asked her, well, how's the weather today? Because Cedar Edge is the first town when you come down off the Mesa. And the Mesa is where I camp, if you're new here. I'm a camp host during the summer. I've been there a couple years now. And I'm just waiting for the snow to melt so I can get to work. Uh, apparently, my campground is scheduled as of right now through the Forest Service to open July 7th. Yeah. So anyway, um, and then the, the owner of the shop's mother came out. And she says, I heard you guys talking about uh, Quartzsite. Are you nomads? And we're both like, yeah. And uh, she's been there. She knows somebody that has um, property there. And she goes down there. And I thought that was just so cool. I never heard of Quartzsite several years ago from a, a Bob Wells video. And everybody knows about Quartzsite now. So I, I thought that was pretty cool. And the lady that wanted to knock on my door last night at Cabela's parking lot and sent me the message uh, just saying hi from Cabela's parking lot. I thought that was so sweet. Um, I wish she had knocked because her name, Honey and Me, it it sounds so familiar. I don't think she's a YouTuber, but her name just sounds so familiar. I've met so many people over the years. 
and I can't. I'm horrible with names. Names and numbers. Even today, the woman I met today, I'm like, what is your name again? I don't know. I don't know it. I think it's Julie, but I'm probably wrong. With names and numbers, just they go in one ear and just right out the other. Um, but I, I told her, she's definitely got to come up. She's a vanner. Uh, she's going to come up this, this winter, uh, this summer. Yeah, we won't be there this winter, this summer and go camping. Um, I did see, it, it warmed up today like 58. Uh, the snow that was on the Book Cliff Mountains and the ones I showed you first, uh, that's all melted. Um, the mesa didn't look bad, but, you know, down inside the, the forest is where the big snow is and all the packed snow. That's the problem. I can't get up there. They opened the first campground, the one on the lower end, the north side, uh, or east side. They opened that one first. That's down by Powderhorn Ski Resort. It's Jumbo. There's the main road, and then there's a road that comes off that main road, and then, which goes into the day use area. And then off that road is the entrance to the campground. Well, coming off the main road is where all the, the snow is packed from the snow plows all winter long. So that's why we can't get in yet. Um, our company doesn't have any plows. Um, even the maintenance man said that you need more than a plow. Uh, so once that starts to melt and trucks start moving over it or uh, somebody else with a plow gets in there, then we can get to Jumbo because Jumbo has paved roads. So once it starts warming up, they will melt. So Lord knows when that's going to be. I was told um, Jumbo won't open until... June 17th, and then Cobbett, my campground, will open July 7th. But that can change. But this is what the Forest Service, it doesn't have anything to do with our company. The Forest Service is one that, that sets the dates to open. So I might be going down to New Mexico, because this is like my 28th day or something bouncing around town here, which is getting just a little tiring. I mean, I'm handling it. It's just... I don't know. I just don't want that knock. You know, I, I try not to stay in one place more than one night, and I, I wait at least four, five, six days before I go back to it. But, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm doing fine. Um, I can go to my daughter's and shower and do laundry and hang out there. Um, we're having a yard sale Saturday. So, um, I'm excited about that. I pulled out so much stuff. And I'm going to take a picture of all the dog stuff that I'm selling. Um... I cannot believe how two little dogs that weighed 6 and 12 pounds had so much stuff. They were spoiled rotten. The clothes, the, the leashes and collars and Halloween costumes and crates and just stuff. They're, what got me was pulling their life jackets out of the back of the trailer. That was that was a sad moment. Uh, they loved to kayak with me. Yep. All right. Um, I'm rambling on. I only need to get two minutes and I'm at seven. Um, all right, guys, I just thought I'd check in, let you all know that I'm, I'm doing okay. I have my moments. I'm putting together, um, oh, I can't say, I can't say. It's not for me, it's for someone else. But, uh, I'll show you when I'm done. Um, oh, look, I bought this nice cute sweatshirt, and I saw it at Burlington, and I couldn't figure out what it said. There's a, a W and a Y here, right? I'm like, Wyoming, but there's lettering here, O-R-K, and then there's lettering here, N-E-W. And the first time I looked at it, I'm like, what does it say? I couldn't figure it out. So I went back the other day to get something, and I saw it again sitting there. And uh, I'm into pink now. So I'm like, I bought it, because I think it was like $7.99. And I put it on today, and I'm like, looking at the letters again, and finally, like, N-E-W-N-E-W-Y-O-R-K, New York. I was like, I had a dumb moment there for a moment. But I wore it for... This morning I wore it, and then this afternoon when I stopped to get laundry. Oh, and I put it on this morning and took him out. It wasn't even five minutes, and he jumped up at me and put a muddy paw print on the bottom of it. So when I went to do laundry, I said, let me wash this, and it was already starting to pill. The whole thing is pilled already. I'm just so pissed. We wear this plastic-ass clothing now, and just go back to cotton. Cotton, linen, wool, just the real thing. I mean, not wool because it comes from animals, but, you know... Make, make everything hot again. This stuff, it's going to be trash in another couple weeks. I'm not going to be able to wear it at all. Unless it's around the house. I'm going to take a razor to it, see if I can pull all these pills off. But it's like you're just throwing money away. But anyway, I'll stop my rambling. All right, guys, I hope you're all doing well. And thank you all for your, your kind wishes and condolences. I really, really appreciate it.